Hello everybody. Um, so I have another vacuum to show off my collection. This is my Shark Rotator Professional Lift Away Vacuum. <coughs> Sorry, Lift Away Vacuum. Uh, I had this for a few years now. Um, I didn't get them when they first came out, so I mean, I got when they changed this grill cover, which was on the side where you opened it right here, I think. Yeah. So yeah. I got this at Bed Bath and Beyond. I think around two hundred something dollars. I think I forgot, but um, um, yeah. So any traditional shark, newer shark you might know. This is the brush head with two lights on the side, brush roll indicator. Right here's the motor exhaust filter. Right there, it stays in there. And this just goes. Back on like that. Then you have your dirt bin, which you release right here. And there's your dirt bin, oddly shaped dirt bin. Um, yeah, then you, there's your horrible filtration system filter with another filter down there. This is washable, they're both washable, so. Uh, tools with it, you get a lot of tools with it, like a turbo brush, a, some other kind of tools, a tool around caddy, the small, small, small tools they can do detailing with, but on here you have a dusting brush slash upholstery tool, and then right here you have your crevice tool. Um, it, it creaks, which doesn't surprise me. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but, oh yeah, you can definitely tell. Some of the parts in here are sun fade. So as you see this, like, here, I'll compare it. See, this is like all, these two parts are white, and see how this is like a yellowish color. I don't know how that happened. Obviously, I did not put it in the sun. Um, it was just sitting in my closet, and I opened it one day, and I'm surprised it got all yellowed out and sun faded, which annoys me very well much. So one, um, what is his name? His name is Dorian from Hoover Lux. Yeah, he said that somehow he did it with um these old Hoovers with their whiteness being all yellowed, and I honestly don't know if I can do that or not. But if I can, I can. If I need help, I'll need help. But anyways, yeah. So up here you have your wand. This lifts. Oh, for crying out loud. If I can get the wand out. Ugh. Every vacuum it seems like it's always stubborn. Anyways, oh, no wonder why. Duh. It would be nice if I took off the cord. No, oh, yeah, this is the long cord that you get with it. Then, now we can release the wand. <sighs> yeah, I'm stupid sometimes. <laughs> Not really. And you see that, so here's your wand piece right here, which this can be removed and just be the handle part. Then you lift it away from up here. I don't know if you can see that number. It says lift away, you press it, and the whole motor or vacuum base, vacuum or whatever comes out. Yeah. Put this all back together. And it's just a click, click, click. Pretty much every shark today when you get unboxing, you just click, 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 and go. Um, yeah. And then underneath is the brush roll. Right under here. It's a pretty stiff bristles. Get the carpet uh, really clean. That's a pretty good job. Yeah, so without any further ado, let me plug this thing in and show it to you guys running. Corner of the way, always something. So release it right down there as a usual shark. There you go. Power switch right up here, and let's go. Whoa, maybe not. All right, here we go.
And yeah, as you can see, the crevice tool likes to pop out sometimes. It's not improperly. But anyways, yeah. Yeah, so it does pretty well grooming the carpet. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, so anyways, just another video of all my vacuums in my collection of my Shark Rotate Power Lift Away Professional. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on my post notifications and stay tuned for more videos from me and have a great day everybody. Bye.